Okay, in this session we're going to show you some more advanced troubleshooting tools. Uh, the first one we're going to cover here is LSUSB. Now you remember LS is list, and basically this is just building off of that. LSUSB lists the USB devices that are currently connected to the system. The one that we are most interested in is the um, Zorcom Astrobank connected right here. Uh, it's at bus 001, device 006. Um, what's key to note here is that the status of E4, E4, 11.62 is also being displayed. If this was set to 11.61 or 11.60, you would have an, an issue with your Astrobank not being initialized and properly loaded. So um, 11.62 is definitely key there. You want to see that. Uh, another way you can see that, a little more details, um, dotty underscore hardware. And we're going to turn on the minus V for a little more verbosity there. Okay, so now you see similar output. You still see the bus in the device here, 001006. You still see that for a more status, 1162. Um, you actually get to see now the serial number, which is right here. And you get to see the two spans that are connected to that Astrobank uh, E mainboard, which are this FXS um, module and the FXO module. Uh, 12 channels are being detected there. Uh, six of those are actually for the I.O. ports, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that right now. So we're going to do LS again and DOTI. So as long as you remember all your different LS commands, you'll be you'll do fine. Uh, LS DOTI shows me the first six channels are indeed FXS ports, physical FXS ports. Um, 7 and 8 are output ports, and 9, 10, 11, 12 are input ports. Um, these are typically used for devices like burglar alarms or uh, door buzzers, things of that nature. So, uh, And then you'll see that um, now the FXO ports, even though they are physically right next to those FXS ports, uh, had to skip six numbers. So uh, be aware of that when you're going and, and doing your um, labeling of channels in the GUI, for example, that the FXO channels are now 13 and 14 in this 6 plus 2 um, card that's installed in this system. Okay. Uh, another thing we want to connect, uh, cover real quick, asterisk and a little more verbosity. So we've done asterisk minus R. I'm going to turn up verbosity a little bit here and show that um, we are now connected at a little higher level verbosity. So we're going to see um, a little more detail in some of the output that uh, is being displayed. If there was currently some call flow here, you would see a little more detail there. And you can turn that verbosity up and down. Um, adding several Vs will actually turn it up, but you can you can turn it down by setting core set verbose, and I can turn it back down to one or zero even. So all right, so I set it to zero. Okay. Um, another thing we can do uh, once we get out of asterisk that I wanted to show you is um, where your log file locations are at. Um, so I'm going to change directory to uh, var slash log. And you're going to see now that in that directory, um, several files exist that are log files. I'm going to just use the less command because I know it's going to be more than one screen's worth of data. Okay, so I'm going to scroll up and down in here. You can see that these log files are actually, some of them are rotating. Uh, these cron files are rotating weekly. Uh, the mail logs are rotating weekly. Another one that you, you want to know where it's at um, is messages. That one typically has some very useful information in it as well. Um, if you need to troubleshoot uh, mail delivery, you would look at this mail log folder. This is the currently active one. Uh, these other four that you see here are archives. All right. Um, other things here, secure, um, spooler logs, stuff like that. Uh, the uh, firewall log is here as well, UFW. Okay. I'm going to quit out of this. Uh, actually, I wanted to show you uh, first, if I scroll up a little bit, going to see that there was actually an asterisk folder here. All right, so this asterisk directory is where the asterisk log files get get put, um, which is not var log, but actually var log asterisk. So I'm going to quit out of this. I'm going to change directory to asterisk. You can see the difference in the files there. All right, uh, LL again, and we're going to turn on less. 
And now you can see that these are uh, much different um, log files. These are all asterisk based. You'll see fail the band logs here. Um, you see the asterisk full logs are here. Asterisk Q logs. I uh, just scroll down. There's probably some other types of logs in here, but you get the idea. Uh, var log and var log asterisk is where all of your um, important system log files are at that you may need for troubleshooting. So that's uh, all we have for this particular um, session. Thanks for joining.